Welcome back to Point Blank. So today we have some uh, guys from Bridge International Academy who are helping us to understand some questions. So this question is by a parent. He says, do, a parents, do parents interfere with children's uh, growth? You see, the children wants to grow well. Do the parents uh, interfere with it? Wait. Uh. Yes, I do think parents interfere with children's growth because like when a boy is experiencing, is continuing to grow, he or he must experience wet dreams. And when the boy releases the liquid in the bed, the mother or the father start questioning the boy. You, you, when you to mkubwa, mbonu na susukwa kitanda, atu na ayana brother ko mdogo, so they interfere with the life of boys and this makes them feel Feel like they are hurt, but it's not. It's not like what they want. It's because of the stage, and it's because they are growing. Thank you. Yes, that's true. What Precia said. Um, me, I think that they interfere by when they when they do wet dreams. The mothers start questioning them. Thank. <clears throat> uh -huh. So parents interfere in in children's in children's growth. For example, when a girl is when a girl is menstruating, the mother may start to question. The mother may start to listen to her stories and may learn how the girl and learn how what the girl is experiencing. Thank you very much, guys. Now, to, for the last question for the day, we want to ask this question. Boys and girls, who is to clean the house? Who is to fetch the water or to cook? Should a boy cook, really? I think all the chores are to all of us because we were all created with the same body, but there are some differences between us. But the differences, we, we all have hands, we all have eyes, we all have legs and common sense. So all of us can do the chores. Like, akuno baguzi wa kijinsia, all of us can do the chores. Choices. <clears throat> yes, that's true. But I think in mopping, I think girls are supposed to take place in mopping only. But boys do, don't do Yes, I think we could share the choices. Cooking chores. Chores. Mm -hmm. The boys could take the easy, like cooking. Mm -hmm. But us, washing utensils and sh on washing the house. Mm -hmm. I think it should be given to all of us because each one of us is supposed to do a chore at home. If I know how to cook and my brother does not, I can teach him how to cook and we can all share the chores. And I agree that because when when as we should not be cooking, we must just be fetching water. Yes. Now, let me ask you, like a boy, you say that if you go to cook, you are a woman or a girl, you are just a useless a boy. You should not cook. Huh? Is that true? No, that is not true because all of us are fearfully and wonderfully made. Some of us know how to cook. For example, some boys know how to cook. When they grow up, if they don't have wives in early time, they may know how to cook by themselves. Okay, thank you. I think it's a no, just like Rosalinda said, because most of the chefs are boys. And also... How can you expect a girl to cook while you are sitting down and expect to eat the same food? You should share chores. You should also cook so that you can enjoy your food. No, no, no. Look here, look here. For a boy, if he enters the kitchen, he looks like a woman. So he should not look at him like a woman. Here, his work is outside the house. I don't think so. Like you look like a woman. Where will you remove a woman when we are in university to cook for you? Where? <laughs> and also, if you are a man, there is nobody who can judge you. If you are a if you are a chef, is there anybody who judged you when you are cooking for them, serving them the food in that hotel? 
Um, I think it's a no because when you cook, you might cook badly. When people taste the food, they may judge, they, they may judge you. Thank you very much. Because of time, let's leave it at that. We are going to meet us next week with another hilarious program. This has been Uncle Fellow saying goodbye. God bless you. Goodbye.